So many people stare at me every single day, every time I'm in public, and that used to really get to me. Life after my accident was so much worse than even the physical burns that I'd been through. Now I try to look at everything with a different perspective. Why did I even survive? Why didn't I just die in the fire? I questioned that all the time. I was four years old when I was burned, and I was burned 95% of my body. My arms, my torso, my legs, and my, obviously my face, if you couldn't tell. This is where the fire happened, but it's a completely different shed now. It was rebuilt. I had heard screaming, and so I ran outside. That day brings back a lot of different memories, feelings that are difficult to deal with. Stressful, panic, terrified. I didn't understand until I was older, when all of my troubles started when I was 10 and 11. John boy, you was a tender little boy. Mm -hmm. had, to had to be careful touching you for a long time. So weird, because in that other picture, I'm climbing a tree, and I remember what it was like to have fingers and hold on to stuff. I was becoming a teenager, and appearance started to matter to me, and I started to realize that I really don't look normal. I just started to really hate what I looked like. I felt like I was genuinely a monster and I shouldn't have friends because everyone was scared of me and I didn't deserve them. I kept all of this turmoil inside of me for so long that it turned into anorexia, where I just didn't even want to take care of my body anymore, where I just stopped eating. But I never realized how selfish I was acting. Obviously, I had a family that cared about me, but I never realized it. <laughs> <laughs> I realized that confidence is a habit. It's not a personality trait. It's something you have to work at. Instead of looking in the mirror every day and seeing something that I hated, I started to see what I could enhance and see what I could accept. What helps me have more habits of being confident is adopting fashion and trying to look presentable because if I can feel good about myself, then I don't really care what else someone else has to say about me. This one was really awesome. A lot of people replied about it. So many of the comments will make me smile a lot. They really make my day awesome. Good morning! I'm so excited. Uh, I could not wait. This is unreal. Looking good, Johnny. Looking good, buddy. Thanks. I cannot wait to get this started. Oh, it's gonna be a good time. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I've always wanted ears because I wanted to enhance myself. That is, that is, that is so People that have rare and severe medical conditions, they don't really get the help that they need. And do you button those as well? Yeah. Okay. Because it's like a turtleneck. Oh, cool. Looks like a gangster. <laughs> Courageous Faces Foundation makes my dreams and passions seem like they are reality. Things that I have always wanted, they make obtainable. Johnny is doing great today. He's having so much fun. He wants to show people who he is and that he's just like everybody else. And hopefully this photo shoot is doing that for him today. I absolutely love it. It feels so natural, honestly. When I realized how confident I could be, then I was able to make friends. <laughs> I would describe John as someone who's very entertaining. Very entertaining and very energetic. He's got a great energy and I love him. 
He was very outgoing. He liked to talk to people all the time. He's definitely made me more confident in myself because I see him over here doing things that I've dreamed of doing and he's over here being confident. But a lot of people just call them a darn victim and I was totally a darn victim too. Somebody who just lets their situation take control over their life. When you're a darn survivor, you're just surviving. But I like to call myself a darn thriver now because I'm actually thriving in my terms. There are still parts that I feel insecure about, but I know that everyone has scars, and mine's not more or meaningful than anyone else's type of scar. Mine is just visible, and I'm not ashamed about it. I want to be the person who changes other people's minds, that they can be comfortable in their own skin if I can be.